Hello, all of you very gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Cities Skylines, where you're currently looking at um, some sped up footage. It's not a time lapse. They're not time lapses. People on YouTube need to quit calling them that. Um, anyway, it's a pet peeve of mine. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to get some work done on this tourism and leisure area uh, that I've been planning for quite some time. Um, but the roads were really giving me trouble, so I wanted to kind of spend some time figuring it out. And it's not that they were, you know, I didn't know where to put them or anything like that. It's just that I wanted to have them all in so I could kind of plan out the area um, all at once. In instead of having to go section by section, I kind of wanted to see how it was going to flow together as I started placing down roads. Usually when I start placing roads, it just kind of starts coming together, no problem. And that's the same thing that happened here. It all just kind of easily showed me where it needed to go, except for here. This is a bit of a challenging area. Actually, a few challenging areas uh, in this side of the map, simply because of some of the weird uh, shapes and things that uh, we're looking at. But if you're not a fan of these uh, sped up uh, montages, not even a montage, it's just a sped up footage. If you're not a fan of these speed builds, there we go. How about speed build? Uh, then you can fast forward to about the 1126 mark, uh, where we will actually get into some quote unquote live building. Um, you can just join from there. So yeah, you can see that because of, I, I've got these, the, the two highways that come into this area, uh, from two different angles and they kind of resolve right here. What you're looking at at that one roundabout kind of towards the top left. Uh, two different angles, so that kind of creates some odd shaped spaces all throughout this uh, section of the map, and you'll see more and more of that. Uh, you can kind of see it there. Uh, I'm trying to go not too much camera movement, but sometimes, you know, it doesn't go so well. I'd kind of like to do something that takes advantage of that bridge over there. That's why I just decided, yeah, I'll come back to that later. Uh, I do come back to it, I think. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to maybe something that can kind of look up under the bridge or maybe there's like some boat ramps or something. Uh, but in this in this segment of the video, we're going to be working on um, getting the roads in, getting mass transit set up, including some expansions to the monorail, uh, a metro loop that kind of goes around the outside of this. The monorail goes on the inside. The metro goes around the outside. And then we've got buses that fill in everything in between. And I need to double check that my bus stops are near the monorails as well as the metros. And other than the metros, I'm pretty sure I put them near the monorails as well. Uh, so basically people will be able to, you know, go from metro to monorail and back and forth again via bus. Uh, and that'll make things kind of nice. But yeah, you can see there's all these weird, weird spaces. Uh, after I get the mass transit done, uh, I also go through and put some walking paths in just so pedestrians can get to the different bit of mass transit a lot easier. And then finally, we'll end it off with uh, plumbing so that, you know, people can get their water and uh, sewage waste uh, taken care of. I am a bit concerned that in some of these areas they're going to use some of these as through roads. Basically, on the side we're looking at now, uh, what well, I guess would be the south side right now, I want to try to, as we get out back towards the water, start tapering that to residential. Um, whereas the side that's kind of like in the river side, um, what would be the north up there by Meadow Square and all of that, uh, that will be more of my commercial side. And then I also have it broken down. Um, what's now on the right-hand side of the screen is tourism. What is on the left-hand side of the screen is the leisure. Uh, so I think the leisure kind of fits, you know, being nearer residential. You have to be careful, though, because leisure does present its own set of uh, challenges because of noise. Here I am putting in more of the uh, monorails. I decided to go with the ones that are in the middle of the road. Uh, they don't really impact traffic too badly as long as you have mass transit that the riders can jump on otherwise they pull their cars out of their pockets when they get to their destination and drive and then that can create a problem but you can see it just goes from the airport down that main road down around over to the ship dock and train station and then you can see i'm putting in the metro stations now kind of wanted to get some good coverage and make it so that the metro line kind of flowed and didn't have to like backtrack and do any weird things I do not have a line 
that goes just direct speed route from the airport to the ship terminal though. Um, I intentionally have several stops in between, mainly because I wanted to make sure that they kept riding the um, the monorail. I, I don't want my monorail to, to lose out. Um, so I, I tried to plan it so that my metro will be effective for helping people get around, but won't just erase the need uh, for the, the monorail. We ran into that problem with a train or a, a metro we built previously that kind of just ended uh, ridership of one of the train lines. It's kind of picking back up now that the city is over 90,000. And now that we've got a lot of tourist destinations in several areas, you can see we have the first line that branches off and goes from the uh, airport over to the amusement park. This is kind of tricky because it kept wanting to snap these roads, so I had to go in and use a little bit to get the angle I wanted. Um, then we have this side of the line that goes from the airport over to uh, all of this area, and then finally out here to the, um, the train station and the rail line itself may wind up putting another line in there because we are going to do some residential things in the area that's blank right now uh so that is still yet to come but i just haven't figured out exactly where i want the roads to go just yet uh simply because i want a few to go over the highway maybe some to go under the highway so that i can connect the two sections so that we have plenty of ways for people to get across without uh having anything that we really have to worry about but i think we've got enough blocked off here with roads that um, we'll have a video or two that we can uh, work on getting this tourism and leisure area of the map up and running. I really wanted to utilize this transfer station uh, with the metro or the monorail and the buses a little bit more, but it kind of starts uh, not making sense pretty quick because the bus lines would be so that would have to go so far to get back to that transfer. I may look at it for one of the other lines. Uh, it's kind of towards what I guess you consider the north side of the screen right now. Um, maybe, possibly. I just don't want the, the bus lines to have to go a huge distance just to get to that transfer station. I could always maybe do like a shuttle bus that just kind of runs down the main road, uh, possibly, or down to some of the stops off the main road that goes back to that transfer station so that at least there is a way for people to get there. Uh, granted, they can also catch the monorail and metro to do that too, but I, I think it's necessary to have buses uh, simply because the more expensive the different uh, mass transit is, uh, the different tourist types will use it. So, you know, an expensive tourist type will be used by your high wealth tourists, whereas uh, low wealth tourists for, uh, for buses and things like that. I decided that I need to have pathways around all of my uh, roundabouts simply because they're made out of highways so they don't have sidewalks on them. And I wanted to ensure that we have as much pedestrian traffic in this area as possible because it already gets a fair amount of traffic for nothing being over here but an amusement park and a couple of monuments. Uh, simply because people treat it as a through route. I have lowered the speed limit on the main run that runs and connects the two highways down something like 30 miles an hour, whereas most of these other four lane roads are 45. Uh, it's simply to encourage people to stay on the highway if they're wanting to go through and go around the city on the highway instead of going through the city. Some of these curves are a little bit weird because of the angles, but I think I eventually got them looking all right. Still need to do a little bit of a beautification in the middle of some of the roundabouts, a few of them, as you can see, like there on the left, and it's gone now. Um, could use some trees and some fountains like all of the other ones have. Uh, so now I'm doing my bus lines on this side of the map now that I have all my uh, walking paths in on the other side. And then we'll go through and do the walking paths on this side as well. Just try to make sure my buses don't uh, overlap each other or it themselves on their routes. I hate it when they, like backtrack back on the same route um, it just seems like inefficient bus route planning in my opinion uh, I guess I didn't put anything over there by that bridge I don't know what I'm gonna put over there yet I'm thinking I want some parks maybe I could do a zoo over there I don't know a zoo with a bridge behind it I don't know 
Uh, I'm not really sure what to put there. Maybe just a little neighborhood. Maybe we can get away with a little neighborhood right there. Uh, it's pretty close to the airport, though, so we'll have to see how much noise those airports put off. I also put in three more helicopter depots. Well, actually, four. The actual helicopter depot itself, not sure if we're going to use that for mass transit or not. It seems to get really busy, and they take up a lot of space on top of that. Um, but I also put all the emergency service helicopter depots uh, for this side of the map, mainly because the ones that are kind of towards the center of the map were struggling to get to this side to put out fires. Like we had a couple fires in the amusement park uh, while well, I've just been kind of letting the city run. Uh, I'll show you uh, if I remember uh, once we get into our actual live build time, uh, which is pre recorded, so it's not live and that's a dumb name too, but whatever. Um, but once we get into that, I will show you uh, some changes that we made over to a section that we built. During one of the live streams, uh, kind of a, a lake or a pond, I guess, a small lake, big pond, not sure. Uh, anyways, I made it and it had a lot of flooding issues and I think I finally got those flooding issues resolved and it kind of made the area look a lot nicer. And I went ahead and zoned in uh, some things uh, and I'll show you what I was talking about uh, with the area that looks nicer while that area upgrades. Uh, this over here in Chestnut Hills, stupid name for that. If you have a better name, please let me know in the comments down below. Chat and Twitch likes to name things. Can't get YouTube to do it. You guys never seem to want to name things. Well, why don't I have anything right there? That seems like a perfect... Anyways. Um, so what I did is I went through and put the, the key all in through there. And it's at the same level as the road that rings it. And then I lowered the depth of this just to get a little more stability to the water so it's not constantly sloshing back and forth between the, the low beaches. And it seems to have solved it. And this is a modded asset um, with the Sunset Harbor DLC. One of the things you can do is actually have the ability to add walkways to keys and things. Uh, and so quite a few people use it. Uh, for you know this all being low density it's kind of nice and then there is a bit I made a new district over here uh, that just goes right around the lake and that is a leisure specialization so there's like gyms and bowling alleys and hair salons and things like that and I think that's kind of cool wow that is almost a brand ripoff right there Ulta um, anyway so I think that area looks quite nice. Um, in fact, whoop, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, in fact, let's get, a, let's get a good shot of that. You can see, I think that's quite pretty. Quite fetching. Just a, a nice, I, I guess you'd call that a small lake. Sure, why not? Uh, but anyway, so we've got this area already starting to uh, grow and work its way up. I've put in the emergency services that are required, uh, so, you know, the, basically fire and police, as well as post offices, and then we've also, since then, built the, uh, medical center, Well, I went through, um, I actually, the recording got all kafutzed, but I went through and placed all of the, um, unique buildings, there's the word I'm looking for, that, uh, would let us have the medical center and then we now have like two wonders just like right here or monuments sorry just right here by the airport i don't think that's too tall to be by the airport because we have one run uh runway that they land this way and i believe they take off that way too and then this one lands that way is that plane reverses on the runway that was beautiful uh would they come in this way and i believe that they take off that way as well and of course this one's not an issue and this one's not an issue for that um, I don't want to see a plane take off just to be sure that they're not going to cross over that big tall building. He must be waiting for somebody to come in for a landing. But I'm pretty sure they take off that direction as well. Which means if they land this way, they'll take off this way. What are you waiting on, man? Oh, there it is. Okay. How many people are you bringing me? 200. Nice. So yeah, they take off going that direction too. Don't you think a plane should be able to carry more than that? Can I change that? Um, it's not there. This is what I'm wanting. Mm, I could because like the cruise ships were like down at just like 
150 people. Cruise ships carry thousands of people. So I upped that to 1,100 people. Um, I guess we'll leave the planes alone at about 200. It should be fine. This area is growing quite nicely. A bit of a... Hey, we don't have workers type thing. Wow, this does not build. This is all leisure on this side. And I thought it would build high rises and it doesn't. Err. So what we might do is like just a little bit of this come in and remove the specialization. Um, like just a small section of it here, like there and then like here. Just so we can get some height to this. And maybe even like right there. Just to let regular commercial high rises come in. That might be a better plan. There we go. And we've got offices in some of this. I don't know. Yeah, I all of this is commercial though. Yeah, my offices are over here kind of acting as a buffer for my noise. Uh, we only have one noisy thing over here. And I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue, I hope. Um, but it's, it's growing up nicely. It's, it's doing well. But the problem I've run into is that, as usual, I have no demand um, for really anything. Every once in a while, we have residential popping up and we have uh, industry or offices popping up. So what I'm going to do is just pause here, let this run for a minute, and then I will be back with you. All right, so area grew up quite nicely. Um, filled in, especially the residential, uh, commercial still taking its own sweet time, uh, mainly because they're asking for more people, uh, a lot more people. I was wanting to check how many people are using my paths. I mean, there's not a lot of cars on the road, despite the fact that there's like 3000 people down here. Um, 4,000. Oh, that's what I don't have is just reminded me. I don't have these guys. Um... So I've got 4,000 there. I can probably get away with just one for like this whole big area. Can't put it there. Put it there. And then we'll do a, a bus route that comes over here and gets these guys. Oh, let's go here and then like up here. Uh, you don't really need it to go into the commercial areas. I don't know why, you just don't. So let's get them some more residential then. I'm thinking that I want this to be low density uh, and so like high density here. So let's see here. Do high density here, low density here, here, and here, and like half of that. So let's, let's take care of that. Um, no office need right now. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, we don't need that sound buffer there anymore. We do need lots and lots of people. How am I with this? How did this turn out? It's a little funky, but I think I can live with it. There we go. This turned out all right. So do like there and there and all up in here. This needs the buffer though. So let's do offices and then do offices there, there there and then not right by the roundabout and there we go and then we can come in and do this is residential this will probably tank my residential need but that's okay because this is starting to get out toward where I want to build the quarry so and we'll have all the industries. I don't think I'm going to be able to put in every single industry building like I have in past playthroughs. Uh, simply because I don't think I'm going to have enough space on the map for it. Kind of a sad thing, but it is what it is. And then we'll go there and there. Awesome. So high density there, high density here, and, and there. And part of this. Yeah, okay. So let's do this bit. Here, here, and here, and here, and no, right there. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, there, we'll leave that open. Go in here and do all of this. And 
this high density. And on the other side, we might do just a bit of light commercial here towards the middle of all this. This is like a, a shopping district. Just like this right here. Uh, that should be sufficient. And then resume here. Whoops. Yeah, I want all this to be high density. Plus that shopping district will make like a, a transition point between my high density and my low density stuff here. So, do I want to do that now here? Yeah, let's do houses here instead of big, tall high-rises. It's a sudden adjustment. What I could always do is do like a high-rise band right here. So, they're more like apartment buildings instead of high-rises. Totally doable. Uh, why are you like that? That should be like that. There we go. Yeah, this is absolutely tanking the uh, demand, but that's okay. Because they will eventually build these houses. And start moving in. You know what? Let's do exactly the thing I said I was going to do about the uh, high-rise band. We'll do just a small district right here. Just like this. Before they get too many of these buildings built. So did that cover it? Um, yeah, that covered it. That side I'm okay with being high rises because we've got the commercial in between there. We need to go here too. Like that. Yeah, that side I'm okay with. Uh, but here in Garland Heights, it's going to be anything but high. So city planning, high rise band. That will tear down some houses, uh, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. And then we'll wait to zone all this in because we've, like I said, we've killed demand completely. So it's coming along quite nicely. I could probably start doing some of my um, tourism stuff over this way just to see how they start filling out. Not really sure how well it's going to go, honestly. It's an awful lot of uh, commercial, kind of like all by itself. Um, let's do this as bigger stuff here, but then like right here by this, do this all smaller. And we'll go back to bigger stuff here. And then that should just about do in the commercial demand as well. We can always do some residential out over this way as well. Um, but the main thing is, you, you know, you want people to be able to get to work and to shop to spend money. Otherwise, commercial gets unhappy because nobody's spending their money. Uh, so we need to fix that one and this one and this one and this one and this one. That one, though, is fine. Uh, so we will come in and remove four-way. Four-way. Four way. I'm not removing, am I? I just realized that. I am doing something other than removing. I'm leaving, is what I'm doing. Uh, not leaving. I'm. You know what I mean. Uh, it's late. Leave me alone. There. And that should work. That should work nicely. So, the only thing to check now is have I killed my traffic? No, it's fine. It's great. Uh, so that means we've got good mass transit over here for all these peoples. Uh, this will eventually start building up uh, fairly well on its own. Um, and this may take a while because we have zero demand for anything right now. But that means as demand pops up, like right there, the residential popped up, they built a house, the demand went away. Thankfully, we are back in the green. Uh, so we are making some money, but just... I mean, nowhere near like we were bringing in. Um, but a big part of that will be getting rid of the hospitals, which I'll do between videos. This is starting to pick back up in its tourism. And then I want to see how many tourists do we have coming into the city. 
3,400. Our city attractiveness is only a 78%. Nice mix, though, of people. Um, about 40% medium wealth, probably about 25% high wealth, and 15%. Um, that's more than, that's less than 100. But, anyways, uh, plus we get a bonus on our exchange students, and our tourists are probably bringing in a ton of cash. Yeah, 200 grand every week. Losing a lot of money on mass transit. Um, our metro and our buses are profitable. Losing a lot of money on trains. So we are starting to get more train riderships. Our boats are bringing in money, though. That's kind of nice. Uh, but losing a massive amount because we've got those tons of airports. Monorail just not getting riders. And, of course, the post offices are just an expense. Education, bringing in lots of money. Industry, bringing in okay. Uh, offices and industrial, not doing jack for us. Commercial and residential, though. Actually, just only commercial. Residential doesn't even really do anything for us. Wow, that's odd. What are my taxes? 12% across the board. Hmm. Looks like we've got some level 4 stuff and some other level 1s, 2s, and 3s, but those should upgrade over time. In fact, I bet most... Yeah, this is all upgraded. This stuff won't be able to because of the high-rise ban. Um, it says educate more citizens, but that's actually not the problem. Um, so our education should be golden. Uh, maybe university? No, even our university is keeping up. We've got 5,000 eligible. Only 79% graduated, though. That's odd. Now, are all of our eligible students aren't attending. 4,900 with how many? Which is 600 people aren't attending. 20% of our city is not getting a college education. That's discouraging. I'm not sure what's up with that. They should be because they've got mass transit to get there. Uh, like this bridge right here is actually a metro line. That just runs from the airport over there. And then they can, you know, have a bus or a metro or... A monorail to get over to that metro and of course they've got metro lines that run in a loop like there that bring them here and then they can go across so it's not like they can't get to their school so i'm not really sure what's going on with that um and the last thing i want to look at is how we're doing with uh industry looks like we could use some more industry just generic industry and with 20 percent of our population uneducated that will be a good thing for jobs so we may look at squeezing some industry in back here or maybe just a little bit over here to go with all of that um or even possibly some out here somewhere um but that'll all come later we'll get there but i think we've got a good start on this side of the map which i mean we're almost done with this Given how many live streams we've done on this one, it's gone really quick. But this city's come together really nice. My goal is always to have it about 100,000, 120,000, given how little buildable area there is. And I think we're pretty well to that goal. So I think that will wrap it up for this one. I've pressed the wrong button. So until next time, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.